Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We're here again for our weekly roundup and we are starting here with our final batch of eggs for the season. Our quail are hatching. They're doing very well. They're not all done hatching but there's quite a few in there so far. Quite a lot of quail. They will continue hatching over the next 24 hours and then we will move them outside to our brooder to uh, grow up a little bit before they join the adults. This is the last batch of chicks you will see from our farm this year unless someone specifically asks me to hatch a specific breed for them because they want them for their own farm. But otherwise we are approaching the end of hatching season here. I've had some people ask me why do we stop hatching in August and the answer is just time. So let's assume these were chickens. These are obviously quail but typically we hatch chickens most of the time. Chickens take three weeks, three weeks to hatch, then they take four to six weeks in the brooder to get enough feathers to join the adults. So if you go with the six week mark, which you have to in cooler temperatures, so six weeks plus three weeks is nine weeks. Nine weeks is more than two months. So if we were to put eggs in the incubator now, by the time the babies are ready to join the adults, it is well into October. We're approaching the end of October already. End of October is cold here, all right? We will likely have snow on the ground by the end of October. We will definitely have had frost multiple times, so they simply wouldn't be big enough to be outside with the adults. And I don't want to get stuck with birds in the house over the winter. That sucks. So we do wrap up hatching in August just so that we don't have to worry about anyone getting too cold, anyone not being able to survive outside with the adults, because these guys, they'll take a couple of weeks before they can go to the adults, and that'll already be September. So we can get frost in September. So because of that, we are not going to be hatching anymore. So this is the very last you will see of our incubators until next year. We will, of course, check up on these little guys, the ones that don't sell, every week as we see how they're doing. Speaking of which, let's go outside and see how the birds in the brooder are doing today. All right, we are out here with our chickens and our quail. You can see everyone's getting a little bit bigger as we go. We have a couple of chickens in here. I think we have six chickens. We have a turkey. We did decide to sell the rest of the turkeys. We've only kept two. And then we have a few quail. And of course, we will be adding the quail you just saw in the house to this brooder probably either sometime tomorrow or Monday morning, depending on when everyone finishes hatching. And then that will be it for the brooder. So you will see the brooder a couple more times here in the fall, but that will be it. We will fold everything up, clean everything out, and put everything away till next season and focus on our adult birds for a little while. Speaking of adult birds, let's go check up on them. So here are our adult birds. We have our ducks and our chickens. Um, these are not all of our adult birds, obviously. We free range quite a lot, uh, especially with the layers, so I tend to have to go look for their eggs, <laughs> except for my two favorite layers are in here. And most of our silkies have been moved into here, and we did sell some silkies, so if you're noticing a couple of guys missing that you might have spotted before, there's one of my naked necks that I'm keeping. But uh, if you notice, there's a, that's a rooster. I like that guy. I like him. He's a mixed breed, but I like him. <laughs> anyway, that's not the point at all. But, um, anyway. Yes, our birds are doing fantastic. If you notice, a couple of silkies are missing. That's normal. We sold a few. We have kind of weeded out, decided who we want to keep for the winter, who we are most interested in. So you're going to see, like, that one is one of our favorites. She's a beauty. We've got a couple of roosters that we have decided we are definitely keeping. There's still a couple of more we might sell. So if you see, if you see a couple disappear over the next couple of weeks, that's why. But yes, we are mostly keeping um, these guys. We are keeping the ducks for sure. I'm still not sure about the one, the couple remaining turkeys. We may sell them. We haven't decided. Also, here's Pippin. If you're wondering why Pippin has a big scar on the side of her head, it's because she and Gwen got into it. Man, talk about a cat fight. She and Gwen. 
Normally our cats don't fight, but she and Gwen decided to hate each other this week. So she's got a wound on the side of her head. It is healing and we did tend it. We treated it. She did not have to go see the vet because like a lot of times when cats fight, it's just superficial. There's no infection, but that's what happened this week. Uh, Gwen and Pippin got into it. So our quail are doing pretty well. They're looking good. We still do have a couple over there that we're flirting with. We're not sure. We're, uh, we're not sure which rooster, which little boys we want to keep, you know, oh, well, more eggs. Wow. But uh, these guys, yes, we do love them. We are keeping these guys, uh, the guys and the other thing. I'm not sure. Here comes DK, Wonder Cat. He's a fantastic boy. He's always around. I don't know where Bowser is. People keep asking me where Bowser is. Sometimes she's here, sometimes she's not. Uh, Bowser's a hard one to keep track of. So let's wander over and take a look at our rabbits. Maybe Bowser will show up. I don't know. She's not here right now. Anyway, we'll go over here and all the girls just ran into their den, which is so annoying. So we have, we have here, we've got uh, Anderson and we have Deli here. <laughs> uh, Deli is pregnant, by the way. So next weekend, we might have some babies. Um, they might not be born in time to get caught on video, but you never know. Anderson is not pregnant. Just Deli is. Deli's also molting, which is, you know, fancy. <laughs> Everyone else just ran down into the den. That den, by the way, is really, really deep. So once they go into the den, I actually see someone's ears through the hole. But once they go into the den, we can't get them out, and that's fine. We want them to stay warm, stay safe. So they are down in that den being safe. Uh, no one is in here right now. We will be moving Deli here later this week. Uh, over here, we have our boys. They're pretty much just chilling. They're doing well. We have Silverado and Falcon. Uh, we have Rowan. We're not sure if we want to keep this black one. We're not sure. We're deciding. We're figuring it out. And we, of course, have Bonnie. And we're not sure if we're keeping um, that other caster. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, sweetheart. I know. We love you, Bonnie. Oh, no goals. Yeah, you're such a good bun. So you will notice Scorpio is not in here. Um, I mentioned before that we had sold him. So he has moved on to greener pastures, even though we weren't sure if we were going to keep him. We did decide ultimately that I was only going to keep Aquarius as a boy, not Scorpio. So he did move on to a different family. So here's DK following us again. He likes to check on his rabbits. Look, some guys came out. And yes, Libra's still here. Libra's still here. She will be coming back inside uh, probably, probably later this month. Um, she might be out here one more week and then she won't be. Here comes Tequila. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl, Tequila. Here comes Vodka. Good boy, Vodka. Yeah, good dogs. Yes! So, <laughs> they're going to play like crazy bums. Yep. Run back to the house. There might be snacks. You never know. Yep, because uh, my son and my dad... There goes Pippin. <laughs> my son and my dad just got home, and they were grocery shopping. So, yeah. Grocery shopping means snacks. So, that's where the dogs just went. <laughs> Following everyone in the house. And let's, of course take a look at Shadowfax and Arwen. Both were on film this week, but I had a few questions about why Shadowfax was so dirty. Well, he's not so bad now. Okay? He's not so bad now. Sometimes he's really dirty. Hi, uh, yes. Sometimes he's really dirty, and sometimes he's not. So, he's looking a little bit better now, but he still has chunks of mud clinging to him. So, why is he so dirty? It's because it rained, and it was wet in here, and he was rolling in the mud. So he's doing just fine. He looks fantastic. His hair looks great. Even though I need to shampoo it again because, you know. And Arwen, of course, is still being Arwen. She gets caught on film quite a lot. She's right now pretending she can't get out of here. But she can. All she has to do is go under the fence. Anyway, let us go inside and catch up with our little kitten. 
So little Wildfire is getting more and more adventurous. Right now she's down here doing her kitten thing. But she is now four weeks old. So she moves around quite a lot. Tequila's here looking after the baby, as she always is. <laughs> but that's, she's gonna chew on a cord because you know she's a cord kitten. Loves cords, cords are delicious. <laughs> but that is how Wildfire is doing. She has been our only kitten so far this year, which is excellent. And yes, she's gonna be a permanent fixture on the farm. There's a bit of hair there that she's been playing with. I have to pick it up, baby. Anyway, yes, sweetheart, you look beautiful. That is about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. I hope you enjoyed catching up with us. We'll see you tomorrow.